Hey guys, welcome to our home video on my home discus aquarium. Uh, this is going to be the introductory video. There's probably going to be one or two more to follow that will focus on a bit more specific information when it comes to keeping wild discus. Uh, wild discus happen to be my favorite fish to keep, uh, especially when it comes to cichlids, without a doubt number one in my books. And uh, why is that the case? Well, it's because they're uh, it's the most natural form of the discus. So uh, when you get a nice wild strain, uh, you get the body shape that you're expecting. You're get, getting the fins and colors that, that you're expecting. And best of all to me is you're getting the cichlid behavior you're, you're expecting as well. So when it comes to interaction between each other and the um, uh, you know reproduction when it comes to breeding, uh, they're more interesting, more of a challenge and just more fun overall. So. Basically, those are the reasons why I prefer wild discus, but uh, they are definitely more of a challenge. And uh, to meet that challenge, you've got to definitely set them up in a quarantine tank on when you receive them. Uh, and I would suggest at least several months of quarantine uh, to ensure that they don't need a deworming treatment or treatment for any ectoparasites, uh, in which case it's a lot easier to do versus having to do it in a display tank. You don't want to do that. so. Best that they're fully observed, eating well, and make sure they're 100% healthy before you uh, acclimate them to your uh, to your main aquarium. And when you set up a quarantine tank, you know these are new arrivals; they are from the wild, so make sure it's in a quiet, out of the way place. Uh, and uh, you know, typically you want to keep discus in at least a group of anywhere from six to ten, six to twelve individuals. Um, and so in that case, uh, your, your quarantine tank, if you're getting fish that are six, seven months old, uh, definitely should be something of at least 50 to 75 gallons. We'll get into more detail in, the, in an upcoming video. Now, my setup is 130 gallons. It's a six foot tank, 130 US gallons. I have a couple of large hang on filters, aquaclears, in fact, on the back. My system is very simple. I have uh, the middle of the tank lit up with an aqua sky, Fluval LED aqua sky uh, light, which I programmed uh, the way I like it. And I keep the uh, corners of the tank dim so that the fish can retire anytime they want. Uh, they can go into a more shaded area. There's more stacked up Malaysian driftwood in the, in the corners. And the center of the tank set up more with some wood that I cured for a period of about two years actually. Uh, it's apple tree wood, um, works very well. Uh, the types of tannins it release, uh, releases seems to favor the fish. They, they react well with each other with, uh, with this wood in the water, very pleased with it. Uh, and you can see it's a branchy kind of setup, uh, mimicking what uh, they would experience in nature. A lot of submerged branches and so forth. That's where they like to hide out, keeps them safe from predators, which is another part of uh, of keeping wild discus, you know, setting up and understanding the type of environment they're going to have or that they come from, sorry, is, is also kind of more fun uh, when keeping these fish. Uh, it's a white sandy bottom on this tank, as you can see, there's white fine sand, it's very simple, uh, so it's easy to keep clean. Uh, discus do like to eat food, pick away at uh, food on the bottom of the aquarium. So you can see there's, uh, it's devoid of plants, which is typically the type of environment they come from for a good part of the year. Unless it's, of course, the rainy season, then they do venture into areas that have been flooded where emergent vegetation is flooded. But this is the kind of environment they spend a lot of time in in the wild. Um, and in an aquarium, it makes the most sense. It's the most practical. Live plants uh, are not something I like uh, keeping with, uh, with discus. Uh, the reason being that you're keeping them in very soft, acidic water, especially wild fish. Domesticated fish, it's less necessary to do so for sure. But uh, wild fish, it's, it's, a key, uh, it's a key factor. And a lot of live plants don't like those types of conditions, especially when you're keeping them at a minimum of 80 to 82 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, 27, 28 degrees C. That's not the best type of environment for plants. Uh, so you want to avoid, uh, you know, plants and plus with the food falling to the bottom and potentially getting caught up between plant leaves and so forth, it's really not the best type of, uh, of uh, setup for them. So a bare sandy bottom with a lot of branchy wood is really the best way to go. And you can see here that I have a group actually of seven, there were initially eight fish. Uh, one was lost, unfortunately, uh, but these have been very healthy for a long time. One of them did have a disease issue, it's recovered, but it's kind of always been behind in growth. 
Anyways, guys, that's it for my introductory video on uh, on these wild uh, discus that I have here. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe uh, below. If you've got any questions, please let us know. And we'll be coming at you with another one or two videos on this tank and some more information on keeping wild discus. Have a good one. Take care until the next time.